vertebrates that is the nervous system of hydra and nervous system of planaria now in this lecture we will study the neural tissue the neural tissue is made up of two types of cells that is neurons or nerve fibers and glial cells or these are also called neuroglial cells the neural tissue is made up of two types of cells that is neurons or these are also called nerve fibers and neuroglial cells neuroglia or these are also called glial cells these neurons are also called structural and functional unit of nerve fibers and the neuroglia or glial cells are supportive cells which support the nervous system now we will see the structure of neurons the neurons are made up of cyton or cell body dendron these are also called dendrites and a single process that is axon first we will focus on cyton the cyton has a distinct nucleus with nucleolus and a cytoplasm the cytoplasm of this cyton is also called neuroplasm it consists of many cell organelles like mitochondria golgi apparatus rough endoplasmic reticulum nasal granules as well as neurofibrils the nasal granules are riboprotein components and these are made up of rna this question was previously asked in neat exam again i will repeat the nasal granules are made up of rna then what is function of these nasal granules they help in synthesis of the enzyme which is required for formation of neurotransmitter so these nasal granules are very important they are present in this cyton as well as this dendrites and another cell component that is neurofibrils the neurofibrils play an important role in transmission of the nerve impulse now we will focus on dendron that is dendrites this dendron has a small processes so it is called dendrites the dendrites what is function of this dendrites they collect a impulse from another neuron or the sensory organs they carry the impulse and gives it to the cyton then we will move on axon now we will see the structure of axon the axon it is a single process which arises from the axon hillock of the cyton this axon carries the impulse away from the cyton and it gives the impulse to another nerve fiber or motor organ the axon consists of the covering called myelin sheath if the axon consists of this covering myelin sheath then the nerve fiber is called myelinated nerve fiber or it is also called medullated nerve fiber
In this non-modulated nerve fiber, only neurilemma is present. That is, myelin sheath is absent here. That means, on the basis of presence of myelin sheath or not, the nerve fiber is divided into two types. Actually, this myelin modulated nerve fibers carry the nerve impulse 50 times faster than these non-modulated nerve fibers. At the terminal end, the axon gives rise to a branch, small branches called telodendron. These telodendrons carry the impulse to another nerve fiber. The nerve fibers are connected to with each other by a synapse. These telodendrons carry the impulse to another neuron. The two neurons are interconnected to each other by a synapse. In this axon, the neurofibrils and measles granules are absent. Today, in this lecture, we have studied the neural tissue in which we have focused on the structure of neurons. In another lecture, we will study the neuroglia or glial cells.